Hi guys, welcome to my guide. Uh, it's going to be a quick, no nonsense uh, run through of what you need to do to set up Final Fantasy 14 VR on the PC. So, uh, too long didn't watch uh, a list of what we're going to do. We're going to install the game. We're going to install a special launcher. Uh, we're going to connect our headset and open Steam VR. At the same time, in the background, we're going to change some config file um, for the game uh, to set our resolution to Steam VR. Uh, once we've opened the game with the launcher, we're going to enable experimental plugins um, and install XIVR, which is the plugin that adds the VR mod. Uh, and then at the end, I'm just going to go through some quality of life stuff. Okay, so we do want to download the game, Final Fantasy XIV, uh, and do it on Steam or use the default launcher. We just want to get it installed and it will be located somewhere on your hard drive and we're going to use that location in a second okay so we will be downloading something called the final fantasy 14 launcher uh, and it's a uh, link in the description it's a, um, a way of launching the game quickly but allows you to have plugins installed now in this you'd have to kind of tick a few things that i'm showing so uh with the enable download and also kind of point to where the game is saved on our computers. Um, so just wherever you installed it from either Steam or the Final Fantasy launcher, and then you'll be good to go to launch the game. Okay, so we're in the Quest 2 environment. All looks good. Um, here you can uh, download Virtual Desktop, which I would recommend over a link cable, but you can use a link cable. Basically, we want to do anything where we can get into a Steam VR. So if you've got a Steam VR headset, plug that in. Uh, we're going to try and get into Steam VR, but Virtual Desktop has a cool feature called Space Warp, which I'll talk about later. Let's get this open. Okay, so we've got our PC open, and we're just going to start Steam VR. And once you start Steam VR, you'll see this. You'll be in a little void um, with your Quest 2 controllers. Um, if you open up the settings, not there, over here, um, you'll see the resolution per eye. Um, and also I'd recommend turning off Steam VR Home just to get this up and running quicker in the background so it doesn't use resources trying to um, render that. So um, on your desktop, you'll see Steam VR is this little window and you can get up the same settings by clicking on the little menu button and you get the eye resolution. Now, in your Final Fantasy folder, Documents, My Games, Final Fantasy, you'll find a config file. And there you want to replace the resolution that you can see there with the screen width and screen height uh, exactly. Now it's the other way around. So the, the second number there is um, the opposite from what SteamVR says. Now there's also some graphic settings. So go to the Discord, I'll have it in the description as well. But you want to copy all of these graphic settings into the two sections. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it in this section here. And then graphic settings DX11. We want to copy all that. Copy and paste it in the DX11 section, which isn't that. It is down here and it's here. So you want to copy and paste this section with those. And you're all good. And you want to save that, close it, and you should be all set up for um the plugin and it's all matching your settings so now we're just going to log in um up in my one time passcode so it's going to launch and in steam vr you'll see like the game launch but just stay on the 2d like on your actual pc monitor so um you find the plugin here you the well, the launcher to find plugins now i've already got it installed but you can disable it and delete it and i'll delete it uh just to show you how to install it I've not got anything installed. Now we'll go to settings and enable experimental plugins. Uh, and there's some URLs to where you find the plugins here and just copy and paste them in these paths uh, and click the little tick or uh, well, the little add button next to them to add them. So um, it's like a directory. Okay, so you've got that. Save and close, you're all good. And now just search for XIVR. And the latest version of the plugin will show up and just install it. And it is simple as that. You've got the VR mod. You've done it.
<laughs> um, and now it's just a case of getting the settings. So you can open it up and there's a few settings there, like starting when Steam VR uh, is in the background and you can like change snap turning and whether you want the camera to be locked to the horizon or not. Um, but yeah, so we're in, we've got the game, it's in VR. Um, so in this next section, we'll go through um, some settings and things. So here we are in the game. Um, now, it, essentially what this mod does is replace the camera with your head. Um, so I'm kind of in third person right now, but in the headset, the whole game is around me. So I can kind of look around and, and, and see stuff. And I can even move the camera with the analog stick because uh, I'm using a controller um, or with my head. And you can zoom all the way out. Um, and the, the camera control is, is pretty pretty cool with this mod. So you can either be zoomed out, good for dungeons, and you need to see kind of AOE attacks and stuff like that. We can zoom right into first person as well and look around the environment. Now, a lot of the kind of options, I'd say, around Final Fantasy fourteen are just in the game anyway for, like, UI. Now, uh, I've been playing it with kind of very minimal UI, kind of transparent stuff. Um, but look here, like, first person, just click on the right stick and you can walk around, look around. Uh, it feels feels pretty good, and I'm using the controller uh, interface uh, with a PS5 controller, uh, just like you would uh, configure on like a PlayStation um, or if you're playing with a controller on PC. So the UI is spread across like a floating screen in front of you, and you can move things around, make them transparent. Um, I've got like the cross hotbar um, and the chat window in, in the bottom left. Now you can type in various chat commands to kind of scale the UI, uh, move your camera position, uh, reset the, all kinds of stuff. And you'll find a whole list of commands on the Discord um, as the dev adds them in like subsequent releases. Um, and if you've got a, a problem, you can't see anything, just use the like inbuilt game UI tools to make things bigger, move things around to where you want, want them. Um, and in the system configuration, just check that you're in a windowed mode when you launch um, and uh, the frame rate set to none. Now, the latest version should be doing that uh, automatically, but just double check if you've got any problems, because if you set it to 60, uh, you'll hit a max of 60, whereas here you want to hit like 180 um, or like a 90 hertz refresh rate on your monitor. Uh, and that's kind of the target. Now, any kind of performance issues you've got, um, I'd recommend... Uh, in the step where we set our steam eye resolution start something really low um, if you've got frame rate problems and then increase it slowly over time until you get something smooth i'll try doing it kind of like in the open world in an area like this where there's not many players around because with players there's a lot of uh, cpu bottlenecking uh, so even on my rig at the moment which is a 4090 with amd 7950x uh, it struggles in towns a lot so just be aware that's <laughs> that, that, that's something you, you'll be looking at okay so i switched to according to the headset so uh, ignore the 30 frames a second it's just the way i'm recording this uh but in virtual desktop you get this overlay and if you double click the menu button you uh, can disable enable or have automatic space warp and what this will do is if you're you struggled hit like 90 frames a second uh it will kind of interpolate frames for you um and Disabling it is good um, if you're going to do dungeons and things and there's not many people around. But if you just want to kind of wander into a town and not have uh, any issues, I would recommend setting it to automatic. Um, because what it will do is it will turn on space warp when you start struggling to hit the frame rate uh, that's required. Uh, and you'll see that the game uh, millisecond will have a little orange number on it. Um, so yeah, that's a small tip to improve performance in towns. So just to kind of say, um, I'd recommend checking out the Flat to VR Discord. Um, when you join, just uh, toggle the uh, visibility of the little, little different game sections. Uh, and there's a Final Fantasy section you can toggle to join. And that will open up um, things like the release notes um, of any new versions or enhancements. Um, the recommended graphic settings are on there as well. And just uh, lots of people discussing and talking about the game. Um, and I'd check out their Twitter as well because a lot of these cool mods um, they're posted there. So for any other games you're looking forward to playing in VR, I would check them out. So and just another word like 
this current version that we're talking about right now it's pretty early and i'd imagine in future uh steps like manually changing the steam i resolution in the config file probably are going to be added uh later on uh and if for any reason you don't see that plugin uh just check to see if like the game wasn't updated recently because if um the game gets patched that whole launcher just won't work for like a few hours until they kind of get it back up and running uh we just went through that and it, it didn't take long before it was back up at, um at any kind of like performance related issues this is a very early early build so um any kind of uh optimizations they can do with uh running it on low-end hardware might come in future versions so that's what i'm just recommending go to discord and uh, keep on top of development to see uh how it performs uh so yeah i'll see everyone in eorzea and thanks for watching